Today I'm going over the high size service port replacement on this 1996 Ford F-150 with a 5.0 liter engine in it. It does have the 134A. This is going to cover the F-150s from 94 to 96 that has the 134A. The earlier ones that came with R12 that was retrofitted over the 134A will have a different type Schrader valve on the high side port. The high side service port is located on the driver's side right above the radiator. You got the radiator cap right here and this, this line right here. You just remove this little cap off of it. And the way this one is, it has a little rubber ball in it that acts as a Schrader valve. Instead of having an actual valve core that you can remove and replace, this one you have to replace this whole fit uh, port. The earlier ones that came with R12 that was retrofitted with these fittings will have a replaceable valve core inside the port that you can just take a valve core tool and screw it out and screw it back in. This one you got to replace the whole fitting. The only place I could find a replacement valve was from the Ford dealership. Here you can see the part number for it if you need to go get one. I could not find this replacement port at any other auto parts store. I had to go directly to Ford. It wasn't but like 15, 20 bucks for the valve and the cap, so that really ain't a big deal. Before you start breaking anything loose, after you got your service caps off, you want to check and make sure there's no uh, refrigerant in it. If you do have refrigerant in it, then and you do not have a recovery machine to take that refrigerant out, then it's a good idea to go to your local, a local uh, automotive shop and just get them to remove that refrigerant for you. Most most the time they won't charge that much because they'll reuse that refrigerant. If you're like me and your system's already bled out, all of the uh, freon, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. Just keep in mind that it is illegal to vent refrigerant into the air. But before you uh, go opening anything, always double check to make sure that the system is empty. Make sure your valves are closed on your manifold gauges and open up the valves. I want to put it on both the low and high side to double check and make sure my system is empty. And as you can see right here, both my low and high side is on zero. I wasn't able to find a special tool that's made to fit on this valve to remove it and no socket that I have will fit it. So what I'm gonna use is a pair of vice grips just to gently clamp down on it, just tight enough to be able to unscrew it down here. You don't wanna clamp down on it too hard where you wind up bending or warping this valve. There it goes. Once you get broke loose enough, then you can just screw it out with your hands. Before I put the new fitting in, I got a little refrigerant oil on my glove right here on the clean part right here. I made sure not to use the dirty part the tip of my finger. And it, all it is is PAG oil. That's what this system takes. And uh, all I'm going to do is put a little oil around that O-ring on that new uh, valve before I put it in. And that will make sure that valve's, that O-ring around there seals so you don't have any leak. Now we're going to screw our new valve in. Be careful not to cross thread it. You should start screwing in easily by hand until you get it down pretty tight. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this paper towel around the valve, not over it, but around it. And I'm just going to give it just a gentle squeeze on it just to tighten it up, just snug it up. You, there's no need to over tighten this because that o-ring is going to seal it but you want to be careful not to scratch up this new valve so your AC gauge is going there correctly and as you can see it's screwed all the way down in there once you screw it in by hand 
is pretty much tight. You just want to snug it up just a little bit, but don't put too much pressure on here to damage it. So that concludes replacing the high side service port valve on this 1996 Ford F-150. The next step is going to be to put a charge on the system. And that'll be in my next video that comes out. Once that video is out, I will have a link in the description to that video so you can get to it straight from this page. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more of my videos, keep informed when new ones come out, make sure to subscribe to my channel.